How do you feel about plastic surgery? And have you ever had any thoughts? Shit, I will, I love it. I love it because that shit looks fire. It's fucking perfect. And I will get my boobs done. I mean, come on now. Mm-hmm. The fuck? You would get like a mommy makeover? I mean, not mommy makeover because that's really like for bigger, bigger girls. Like that, like it's like the gut is over the pants type shit. But I would get my boobs done. Like mm-hmm. I will get something to like let me titty fuck. Like I would titty fuck a remote control. Like as long as I have cleavage. I don't got cleavage. I don't know how that life feels. Come on, like, come on. What the fuck? Why not? So, didn't you say you was from Staten Island? Nah, nah, nah. Never, nah I wasn't from. I lived here for, like, a couple of months. Oh, uh, okay. Like, a couple of months. You know, I knew a dude that lived out here, born and raised. Okay. Feel me? And, yeah. Like, you see, I don't even remember how I met him in the internet. You like, see? Like, I, I remember him in person. Fuck y'all. Right. Staten Islanders are at. So, how do you feel about men who get plastic surgery done? Like, if it's a fat nigga getting, like, a light bulb, fuck it. It look good. Feel me? Like, Bam Bam Kelbo getting the whole tummy cut. And, like, it looks like with abs and shit? Yeah. Hell yeah! Fuck, you talking about we outside? Like, I'm showing everybody, like, what I got. All right. What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio. You a Scorpio? I'm a Scorpio. A November one. Chill, not an October. All right. What's, but, the, what's the difference? It's a big difference. If you're really in November, you know the difference between the October. What do you think is the worst sign in the... No, it's not. Ooh, Capricorn. They're boring as fuck. I don't know. It's something about them. They boring. There's something about Capricorns. They boring. I don't know. They try to be so lit, but you know you're not a lit person. Like, let's just be homebodies together. Like, like let's just keep it that way. Like, that's it. Let's just be honest. What's your biggest red flag in your guy? A nigga that disappears. Like, you know when you talk to them and all of a sudden they don't hear from you for like a good like six hours or like the next day type shit? Like, nigga, you go, got a bitch or you just trying to make me chase you? I don't got time for neither. Like, neither. <laughs> the fuck? Wasting my fucking time and all of a sudden you want to disappear. I don't hear from you no more. And mm. now I got no choice but to talk to other niggas. Now I'm over here thinking about this and then this. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, you got no choice but to talk to other niggas. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm bored. What the fuck else am I supposed to do? Talk to bitches? I'm going to talk to bitches too. But like, I can't flirt with them. The fuck? So... <laughs> the fuck? What am I supposed to do? What's your, what's your biggest turn on in there? Oh, shoulders. Like, you gotta have shoulders. Like, you know that shoulders, like my hands. It's something about body parts that is something really important to me. I gotta feel like a puzzle piece. Like, if I feel too big for you, like, I can't sit on your face. Like, I'm gonna feel like I'm squishing you. That is not sexy. I gotta feel sexy. Like, I wanna be on my J-Lo shit. I'm just drinking my wine. I wanna put my hair up. I feel like, like, and you this big nigga that just could just grab me and throw me a fuck around. You feel me? Yeah. Throw me like a fucking rag doll any type of fucking way. Like, yes! Like, you can't do that. Then I'm gonna feel like you're my twin brother, bro. Like, so you're not the type that likes to be treated all gentle, sweet, like your princess. Outside, hell yeah, uh-huh. we outside, we outside. Like I'm your princess. Like you gotta make sure I'm good, I'm eating, I'm okay, I'm chilling, I'm sipping, I'm eating. You know. But in the bedroom, if you with somebody that has like like rose petals and shit, looking on the thing, and then like and eating strawberries and try to pack and put some oil all over me, hell yeah, I'll take all that shit any day. Right. I'll take that. But an everyday course, hmm. So you know, like, it's gonna be played out for a little bit. Like you know, like you know, like, uh, like the rush of the sex stuff. Like I need all that, like all that in one. If you got that all that in that package, you is my nigga. There you go. You my boy, bro. You my boy for life. We good. Cause I just feel like our relationship don't go on if we don't have some type of intimacy, like things like that. Like what the fuck? You feel me? 